This man really isn't a criminal, you know. He's also a victim because he can't control his sexuality. A trainee teacher called J Jacob Chuff Ch Chufu is the yeah. trainee surname in Oxford. Do you want to kind of give our gentle listeners a view and uh, a of what this character <clears throat> did and why this is such an important case? I think especially in the context of what we've just been talking about well for me it was important because i heard my wife sniffing and i turned around and she sat in a settee crying with a phone in her hand and i'm thinking straight away her family her daughters what's going on something what's up i, I just read this so it's this case been to court he had thousands of Category A images and videos on his phone. Category A is the highest form of child abuse videos and photos. Um, some of them were baby rape. I know, um, when I read that, I actually yeah. kind of teared up a bit myself. Exactly, it's, it's like, what's going on? Yeah. So they found this stuff on his phone. Uh, he's a trainee teacher, for God's sake. Mm -hmm. uh, in court, um, suspended sentence, 180 hours community service because he's no threat to the public. Couple of things there, threat to the public. So first of all, is he likely to go out and abuse a baby and abuse children? Well, do you know what? No one can answer that question, but I tell you what, the fact he's looking at that stuff is a big, big red flag to me. Mm. It's such a red flag. He's now been barred from ever working with children. Yeah, of course. So someone thinks, he's a threat right. to children in this right. country because he's been barred from the career he was hoping to get. So that makes no sense. And what people need to realize in this type of crime is yes, he personally didn't abuse any of those children, but he, if he didn't buy those videos and share those videos, other paedophiles in other countries wouldn't be making those videos, mm. which means those children and babies never would have been abused in the first place. Mm. He creates a demand for other people to abuse children and Correct. babies. Yeah. So in my book, is he as guilty as the person doing it? No. He's almost as guilty. Mm. He still should be hung. He still should have his back tore apart with a whip that I'd like to do. And he still should be doing 5, 10, 20 years in jail. So this nonsense of he's not a threat to children in this country doesn't hold water with me. Mm. And it sends the message throughout the whole country that paedophile, it's slightly illegal, but do you know what? It's a bit like smoking marijuana. It gets overlooked to a certain extent and one day it'll be legal. And when did that happen, that people like this, horrific <clears throat> people, like <clears throat> these horrific criminals yep. <clears throat> like this, when did it happen that these paedophiles, these horrific, grotesque yep. men, and it's always men, uh, when it's did not, it, it, it's, it's, it You'd be amazed at how many women have been involved in this as well. I don't agree with that, but I'll, no. have, I'll have that discussion. It's like the automatic submachine gun. Yeah. You're wrong on that. <laughs> but... When did it happen that they would not get a jail sentence for something like this? When did things like, did, when Think, did it change? Things change with the development and acceptance of the LGBTQI plus community. Once we started saying any sexuality and any pervert and any narcissist, that their lifestyle choice is as valuable as anybody else's lifestyle choice. And you may be, let's say homosexual, but I, you know, and now it's wrong to criticise being a homosexual. Once you went down that path, on that path at a certain point is paedophilia. Mm. Now, I'm not saying for one moment that homosexuals are paedophilia, are paedophiles. I'm not saying that anybody, that the vast, vast, vast majority of people in the LGBTQ plus alphabet people support paedophilia because they don't. But under the Q comes queer theory. Queer theory, one of, one of the main tenets of queer theory is breaking down the barriers between adults and children when it comes to sexuality. That's what Q stands for in LGBTQ. Mm. That's what the Q means. And if you're listening to this and you don't know this, you're part of the problem mm. for supporting something you don't understand. Mm. Look up queer theory. I've got articles on it. Understand yeah. what that's about. Yeah. And most people in that community don't understand that and don't 
support paedophilia. But the fact they managed to put the cue into it started normalising all this shit. And it gets into the courts. This man really isn't a criminal, you know. He's also a victim. Because he can't control his sexuality. Just like homosexuals and lesbians and bi people. And non-binary people and trans people. We've been told for decades now. That's normal and it's not their fault. Mm. So therefore, is paedophilia the same? Is it mm. their fault? I don't give a shit whose fault it is. I think we should punish you that harsh that the next paedophile goes, do you know what? I'd like to abuse a child. But I saw what happened to that guy. I think I'm not going to do it. Because deterrents work. Mm. Not all the time, but deterrents work.